and welcome to Old Man Minecraft. I'm an old man and I play Minecraft. Today we are going to have a little look at this. That's right, we are going to tackle the slightly large hill. I'm feeling it's about sort of time to make a bit more of a mark on it. I want to build a lovely ornate archway into the side of the mountain. That's going to serve two purposes. First of all, it's going to look really imposing. It'll be the entrance into the citadel. Should look very, very nice indeed. But secondly, all of that material that I should be clearing out of the middle as I wend my way through the mountain, hopefully to the, the iron farm side of things, is gather myself a lot of coal. And that is the second part of the video, because the coal is going to be able to, together with the fact that we've got the iron farm, we've now got unlimited iron, coal is going to allow us to unlock the first trades on the armourer, the toolsmith and the weaponsmith. After then, they will swap iron bars for emeralds. And then we should have access to any diamond gear we want. Any of the tools, any of the weapons, any of the armour as well as unlimited books, and coal is the first step. So, let's get digging. So there we have it so far. I am going to tinker with that archway a little bit. So you might see that change as we go. Um, but that's basically my form, that inner arch there. That's the form that I'm going to dig through the tunnel. So quite a bit of digging to go. Uh, I won't put you through all of that. I'll give you some select shots. And if I find any ores or any coal, um, I shall let you know.
Ah, time for a break, I think. I'm really pleased with the progress. I love the way it cuts into the hill there. I did adapt ever so slightly. I've decided to make it more organic as it uh, goes into the hill rather than that one shape all the way through. Um, obviously, I'll be building up onto the top of it. I'm not quite sure. I might have a balcony over the top, might have a couple of guard towers. It's all looking jolly good, and I think it's certainly made a mark. Obviously got a few more decorations to go. I'm going to be using campfires and it should all look very, very nice. For now though, I'm going to be making some different workstations, including the blast furnace, which I need some smooth stone for. So I need to smelt up some stone. I'll also be building a grindstone and I do have everything I need, I believe, for a grindstone. Stone slab, uh, a bit of wood, I think. Um, and a couple of sticks. Um, and the grindstone is used by the weaponsmith. And we are going to have one of those in our trading hall. So I'm going to need one grindstone. Next up, um, going to need some furnaces for the blast furnace. Um, but let's have a little go at making a smithing table. First of all, I'll put some stone on to cook. Uh, I think I need six in total, so they will make smooth stone. But the smithing table, um, where is it? There we are. I've got everything I need. Going to make a couple of those because I need two smiths. So I need two tool smiths, two armourers, and one weapon smith. Right. And now all I've got to do is make the blast furnaces, and then we'll go over to the iron farm. So here we are in my little cave, my temporary area. Um, we can actually have a nice view of the iron farm over here. Now, interestingly enough, it is raining. And from what I understand about bedrock villages, certain tradespeople, including librarians and I think Fletchers, which is what my placeholder workstation is for all my villagers, they don't work in the rain. So it might be that we can't actually see any iron golems for the time being. That's rather interesting. Now, I've got my bits and bobs. What have I got? I've got one grindstone. I've got two smithing tables and two blast furnaces. Let's go down to the trading hall and see where these fit in. Hello, boys. Now, I do not think... Hey, oh, we have got one. Okay, so it might be slightly noisy. So I don't believe that the toolsmith, the weaponsmith and the armourer are affected by rain. We've certainly got some golem action here. But I'm going to replace these placeholder blocks and hopefully turn these guys into each of the respective trades. Now, they cannot get out because of these trap doors here. Uh, and I shall... I bet you I haven't got an axe. I have. I've got a little axe here. There we go. So let's start with him. And you can see he's not getting out at all. I'm going to put the grindstone down. I have removed all the other blocks that he might link to. Let's have a look. Yes, straight away. Fantastic. So every 15 coal I buy from him will level him up this much and eventually we'll be able to unlock four iron bars for one emerald. This will progress him all the way through his trades until finally we're unlocking a diamond sword. Now I'm only doing one of these at a time. Let's have the blast furnace there. That should change him. Wonderful. And let's do this guy. Yep, fantastic. Double iron golem action continuing. Now my axe should be enough to do both of these. But again, only one at a time. Smithing table. Are you ready? You're a smith. Wonderful. I've got to try and prioritise who I want to unlock first. I think it's got to be the diamond armour, hasn't it? But I think that's probably for another episode. I'm aware that the last three episodes, building the iron farm, have been very long, over an hour. The iron farm tutorial, catch them if you haven't already. We're going to leave it for now, I do believe. And I'll be tinkering around with these guys off camera. I'm going to save the librarians for you. Then we'll have a little look, closer look at trading mechanics using the librarians, I think. For now, though... We're going to call it a day, and I'll see you on the next episode of Old Man Minecraft. Remember, be polite and don't pick your nose.